guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, hi. We're so glad to have you here. Today's video is going to be all about showing you two days of lots of cooking and cleaning in our home. Terrence is just putting some bacon in the oven. He's also got some waffles going for the kids. Ariel is putting away some dishes, but the dishwasher is not working too well right now, so there's gonna be a lot of dishes being washed by hand. And just look at this couch. Yep, look at all that laundry that needs folded and put away. The dining room table has seen better days as well. And this morning I'm just gonna start my day with some PCOS tea that I have been drinking. It seems to be helping quite a bit. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of licorice root to it, give it a stir. And Terrence is just putting some butter now on the waffles. We like to use the Kerrygold grass-fed butter. It really tastes so good. And he's just adding a splash of maple syrup to it now. Yeah, turkey. My George Jefferson. Well, my George Jefferson Carolyn. Oh no. <laughs> heaven we thank you for this food we pray that you bless it to nourish and heal our bodies in Jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Isaiah was having a really good morning this morning and I was so proud of him for spreading the butter on his waffle some mornings are more difficult than others with him and we've had a lot of ups and downs lately so for breakfast this morning I'm making myself some oatmeal I just had dental surgery done about two weeks ago and so I'm still trying to keep it pretty easy on my jaw on what I eat and some nice soft oatmeal seemed in order this morning. So as I'm cooking that up this morning, Terrence is making himself some scrambled eggs, bacon. Oh, eggs. You can sidetrack all this other stuff. Where's the wood? You want this? Oh. Fortunately, his eggs did not burn. They were a little more overdone than he usually likes, but they were so good. And my oatmeal is also doing pretty well. I'm just mixing it up here, adding in some butter and salt to taste, giving it a good stir. After I dish up, I'm going to be adding in some coconut milk. I'm just gonna stir this all up real quick and then add a dash of cinnamon along with a generous large spoonful of honey. Now I sit down to enjoy my breakfast and I also take all my supplements for the day. Okay, Isaiah, put that paper towel down. Mm -hmm. Isaiah jumps on the rebounder every single morning before his transportation comes to pick him up and take him to school in the morning. He jumps a lot and that's one of the tendencies about him is jumping. He's also developed a spitting disorder, which we are taking him to therapy for and trying to work with him on not spitting so much, but it has not been easy. Now that Isaiah has left for school, Ariel is hard at work putting away some laundry on the couch. I am eating my breakfast and I'm so thankful that she has stepped in to do some work. She has been helping out so very much lately and I really appreciate everything that she does for our family. She is definitely a huge blessing. 
Terrence is now just coming in to help put away the Nintendo set that he and the kids played with last night. Um, it's kind of a pain to put away because you have to roll it all up and put it back in the case. And I don't know, it just kind of is an eyesore if you leave it out. So uh, I don't know, do you guys have a game console in your house? And do you have a suggestion on how you can keep it put away or not be an eyesore without having to take it out every time you want to use it? Let me know in the comments below. Now that I've finished eating my breakfast, Ariel joins me in my bedroom as we put away some of the laundry that was put on our bed. And then she's going to help me make the bed. As you can see, the top blanket doesn't really fit the bed very well. It's because it belongs on a queen size bed. And Terrence has been bugging me lately about needing to get a king size comforter. And so for Valentine's Day, I have a little something up my sleeve as far as what I have planned to redecorate our bed. So now that the bed is made, we are moving over to our bench and just trying to clear it off and put things away. I know in our room, the bench just seems to be a catch-all for everything, whether it's clean laundry, dirty laundry, what have you. It just seems like everything always piles up on this bench. So I'm constantly trying to have to clear it off and put things away. We recently went to Florida where I had my dental surgery done and so we still had a lot of stuff left on the bench that needed to get put back away. I'm just grabbing our sock bin and I'm looking for some pairs of socks to match up from the miscellaneous random ones that don't have a pair or a match that came out of our dryer. So this is a way that I usually am able to pair some up by keeping this little bin handy for all of the extra socks that don't have a match. And I usually always find some. Now, what I'm not showing you is all of the gifts that I just packed up for Valentine's Day for the kids and Terrence that I just placed on the bench. But that did take me a good hour or so to sort through them and pack them all up. We also had Bible study and the kids worked on some school. And by now it's lunchtime. So I am preparing just some box soup. I stocked up on these box soups when I was at the store knowing that I was gonna need some softer foods after dental surgery and um, heating that up. I'm also getting some chicken out that needs to be deboned that Terrence cooked up from a couple nights ago. He had made some chicken soup and now I'm just deboning it and I have an idea. So after surveying the freezer and the refrigerator and just trying to use up some stuff, I figured I would go ahead and make some nacho type french fries. And I know I've never actually made this before, but it was just like, okay, we've got french fries in the freezer, we've got these leftover chicken, we've got cheese. I think I'm just going to make some nacho-ish french fries and it actually turned out really, really good. So now I'm just grating up the cheese that we had on hand and I'm about to cut up some avocados. These avocados actually had some brown spots in them, so I worked pretty carefully just to kind of scrape out any of the bad spots and use those up since they were pretty soft. Seeing how this meal was totally not planned and very random, I was very lucky to find some sour cream in the refrigerator that would go nicely on top of everything. And after I baked these fries in the oven, I took some of them out and placed them in another baking sheet. And then I just started layering the ingredients. Um, so first one layer of french fries, then a layer of cheese, and then I layered some chicken on top of that. And then I would just repeat the process over a second time. So this meal turned out to be super easy to make and it turned out to be very delicious. I just ended up putting this back into the oven to melt all the cheese and kind of just let all of the ingredients melt together. 
After I pulled it out of the oven, I let it cool for a second and then I just dished up all the plates for the kids. The soup is also hot that I started to heat up from earlier and I'm just dishing that up as well. Everyone got a little plate of nacho fries as well as a small bowl of soup. Now that we got the dishes done, let's just look at the living room. There's all this stuff on the floor and the kids need to pick that up. However, they're taking a little break jumping outside in the snow. And it's already dinner time. Terrence is working on steaming some peas and potatoes. He also made one of our favorites, some seared lamb, which he's now finishing in the oven. And the kids and Terrence played a quick game of Nintendo as the food was continuing to cook. And this pretty much wraps up the end of day one. I'm just working on cleaning off the counter here. I absolutely love these magic erasers. Um, they used to always fall apart on me, but now I buy the more durable ones, the ones that say they are twice the, the strength, and they work so much better than the originals that just seem to crumble apart after one use. Can't get enough. No, I can't do without you. Spending all my time thinking about you I think I got a rush on ya Yep, I got a rush on ya Say goodbye to my lonely days I'm so high I'll do whatever it takes, yeah To keep you by my side I'm just cleaning behind this little tray here That cute little tray has hearts all over it I actually bought it for Valentine's Day several years back I'm thinking about 10 years ago It gets me every time It shines so bright it leaves me blind I could lose myself inside your mind But I don't really mind it Think I got a rush on ya
up The glimmer in your eyes gets me every time Every time Shine so bright it leaves me blind I could lose myself inside your mind But your heart is where I find it Think I gotta rush So I'm just spraying the counters down with my favorite cleaner, BioClean. This stuff is amazing. It's one of the non-toxic cleaners on the market that I absolutely love. It's very refreshing and not overwhelming. Um, yesterday, I didn't actually get a whole lot of cleaning done because we went to Marshall's and I really wanted to get some new bowls for our countertop. We display all of our fruits on the counter and it seemed like a lot of our bowls either ended up missing or we didn't we were using our mixing bowls to display fruit and i thought you know what we actually don't have any good display bowls so i wanted to pick some up and i was searching for some at target and they were insanely expensive so good old marshall's had some for like at least half the price and um i really like those so now what i'm doing is i'm just putting the fruit taking them out of some of our cereal bowls and mixing bowls that we were using and putting them in some actual nicer type of display bowls that I, I really like. And these are all in a white color. I thought it would just kind of add more brightness to the kitchen. I really do like the color white. It keeps things looking clean and fresh. A big thank you goes out to Ariel for making lunch today. She made some macaroni and cheese from scratch. So we use some rice noodles. Um, they are gluten free. And she used those with some of the Kerrygold grass fed cheddar cheese that we love so much. And she also made some grilled cheese sandwiches too along with some clementine slices. And I just ended up eating the mac and cheese. It was so yummy. In my lungs, why would I ever run? You brought new light, whoa, 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 whoa. there's no mistaking, you're the only one I want.
if you notice to the left there, we kind of reorganized some of the items that we had. We had that little vase that has a lot of the kitchen utensils on the right side. We moved it over to the left side. We put the knife block back into the middle there. I had also purchased some different uh, fake flowers at Dollar Tree the other day. I typically never, ever, ever buy fake flowers from Dollar Tree um, because they really do look pretty fake and I'm not a fan of fake flowers, but I got them to do some crafts and Ariel brought them in the kitchen and we decided to cut them and add them to this cute little ceramic milk vase that I have and we put those on the counter and I thought they looked really, really cute. Now I'm just wiping down the bottom of the oven here. It had gotten pretty um, streaky with lots of little fingerprints, as you can imagine with four kids running around the house and um, probably a lot for me and Terrence too. So already it's looking much, much better in here. The kids are really joining in to help. Even little Lila, she, she lends a hand by sweeping. Um, that's the main thing she's in charge of. She can sweep and she also runs the vacuum. Now Ariel's just rearranging some of the aprons that we have. She took down a variety of them and just placed the pink ones back up to kind of also add to that Valentine's Day feel that we were trying to bring into the kitchen. So by this point, I hope that you are getting motivated. If you have any type of mess around your home, I hope you have gotten up and have started to clean. I know this is one thing my girls and I do. We will turn the TV on and go on YouTube and look up some cleaning motivational videos to help inspire us. Sometimes we'll put on some music videos or we'll listen to K-Love, which is a Christian radio station, just to kind of help us get through what the mess, you know? It kind of makes it more fun and sometimes we'll dance around the house or we'll sing while we're cleaning. So, you know, I hope you're doing the same. And I hope that while you're listening and watching that you can um, get up and find something to clean around your own home. We all have something that needs done. So let's find something to do together and tackle this mess. It's a hot. We are supposed to hang up this hot for Valentine's Day and we would love to hang it up. And Jantha is the one that made it. She's the one that's making it. She's in the office. Bye. <laughs> I've never been this high And you keep smiling at me And my heart's like, ooh, how'd you like to spin around with me? Cause I've got a suspicion that you look perfect next to me All right, And you can call me crazy, baby, but I call it
right, the girls and I are now gonna tag team cleaning up the office slash schoolroom. Terrence is hard at work editing a wedding video. He has been at this video for a couple weeks straight now, and he's really under pressure to try and finish up before Valentine's Day to hand it over to the couple. So anyway, Ariel is just vacuuming. I am trying to put away a lot of paperwork and just clear up a lot of miscellaneous items that are on the floor. I'm also just putting away paperwork and sorting through different things that have ended up on our printer station and trying to put those things away into the designated drawers in which they belong. I'm just going to declutter the printer station here and give it a good wipe down. Gonna be a good night So let's light this night like a Roman candle And you look so perfect I can't stand it anymore I'll spin you around these stars I don't know about you, but I've definitely worked up an appetite after all this cleaning and tonight we are going to be making spaghetti. Terrence had set out some ground beef and the rice noodles and I figured I would go ahead and just get going here. So I grabbed an onion. I'm just gonna chop that up real quick and begin to saute that in some olive oil. Terrence is just grabbing one of our five gallon jugs of water and adding some extra water to the pot of boiling water since we were a little low. And then we're just gonna add in some of this rice noodle spaghetti pasta into the, into the boiling water. Now I'm just going to add in this ground beef. Let's place the spaghetti noodles into the hot boiling water. And then I'll be back over to just stir up the ground beef. And here I am listening to some Caleb while I'm cooking in the kitchen. I find the music extremely uplifting and relaxing. I really enjoy listening to music while I cook. Laugh until we fall down. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a good day. With you by my side. All we gotta do is wake up. All we gotta do is wake up. Now I'm just going to add in this jarred pasta sauce from Costco. It's an organic one and it tastes pretty good. All right, well this wraps up the end of this two day cooking and cleaning extravaganza with our family. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. We would really appreciate you becoming a subscriber if you would like to see more videos like this. We do videos on basically our family life with a child with autism, cooking, cleaning, lifestyle videos, and much more. Thank you for watching our channel. Please hit the subscribe button.